welcome my dear friends and students. Uh, my name is uh, Arkopal Goswami and uh, I am a faculty of the uh, School of Infrastructure Design and Management at IIT Kharagpur. Uh, I specialize in transportation infrastructure and I am here today to uh, introduce you to our course on multimodal urban transportation systems that is going to be offered shortly. Uh, as, uh, as you may be aware, when you are in an urban area, uh, you have uh, multiple modes that you can use to go from, from point A to point B. Uh, you can either walk, you can um, take your bicycle, you can ride a metro if your metro is available or you can definitely take your bus. So, when you have these multiple modes uh, available to you, uh, how do you plan for them, how do you operate them, uh, how do you integrate all of these modes? Uh, that is going to be the focus of uh, this course. Now, uh, why do you have to take this course? If you need to ask yourself, uh, what is the, the utility of this course to you? Uh, then if you start looking at the uh, urban transportation scenario currently, you would see that uh, they would be characterized by uh, four main points, right? Firstly, uh, what we are seeing is a rapid growth of uh, private vehicles. Uh, we have, uh, we own a lot of cars, uh, we own a lot of two wheelers and we are also driving them a whole lot for our everyday activities. Along with this, there is a decrease in ridership of public transportation modes. Now uh, either uh, the bus fleet has not increased or not uh, or maybe uh, the cities do not have uh, a mass rapid transit system like a metro, whatever may be the case, uh, there are fewer and fewer people that are using. Uh, public transportation modes. Uh, finally, or, or thirdly, uh, the characteristics of urban uh, areas is also that we have poor or degrading infrastructure. Right? Not only uh, do we have poor road infrastructure, but definitely when it comes to uh, uh, pedestrians and bicyclists, the infrastructure that we provide uh, for them are not up to standards. And finally, uh, despite having all these modes, we lack the integration between these modes. So, if, if, if these are the general characteristics of uh, the urban areas that we face, uh, all of these characteristics are leading to certain problems, right? They are leading to either uh, increase in congestion, uh, they are leading to either uh, worsening of air quality or maybe they are leading to increase in the uh, number of accidents that are taking place in our cities or along our roads and also maybe they are leading to a rising inequality. Uh, maybe the poorer, uh, poor people are not able to access all of these modes uh, very efficiently, either the fare is very high or so on and so forth. So, all of these problems because of the uh, characteristics in the urban areas needs certain attention. Now, how this course is designed is that uh, we have designed this course in such a fashion that you would be encouraged uh, uh, or you would encourage people to use sustainable modes of transportation over your uh, private or uh, individual modes of transportation. So, what we have first uh, done is that we have said that we will introduce you to uh, the strategies of travel demand management. Uh, what is travel demand management? How do you develop multimodal urban transportation? So, think about uh, not just uh, uh, your uh, motorized mode, but think about multiple modes and how do you design your streets for multiple modes. Uh, then how do you focus on each of these sustainable modes, right? How do you focus on a better public transportation? How do you focus on better uh, non-motorized transport? Uh, non-motorized transport itself has uh, bicycle and pedestrian. Uh, so are there similarities or are there some differences when you plan for these modes and when you design for these modes? So those are all the things that we will be looking at and finally, we will uh, be telling you that how do you integrate uh, these modes, these urban transport modes together which is very, very essential. So, what we are going to do is we are going to look at it from the point of view of travel demand management, uh, essentially uh, tell you that you have to get out of your car or private vehicle and get into a public transportation mode. That is what uh, is called a push and a pull strategy when it comes to travel demand management. So, we are going to uh, uh, focus on those parameters. Uh, so, how is the course designed and what are the course contents? Uh, the course uh, broadly is designed into four modules where the first module uh, will be an introduction module to urban transportation uh, which will uh, give you an overview of the planning operations 
uh, and management of these modes that are uh, how they are done currently. So, you get an understanding uh, what where are the gaps uh, in the planning and operations and management of these things. Uh, second module would start looking individually at uh, the sustainable modes of transportation starting with uh, public transportation and, the, and its design and operations. Uh, within public transportation, we will tell you uh, specifically about uh, bus uh, transit and bus rapid transit and also about uh, rail, urban rail that is metro rail services and how to plan uh, for metro rail services. Uh, third module is looking at non-motorized transport where we will uh, give you the planning and design principles of uh, um, uh, not only pedestrian transportation, but also uh, bicycle transport for your urban areas. And finally, the fourth module uh, where we will combine all of these strategies and give you a perspective of uh, sustainability in urban transport, where we uh, introduce you to the concept of multimodal uh, levels of service. Uh, we uh, uh, you know, expose you to uh, how to measure uh, air quality from uh, uh, transport modes, uh, how to uh, increase safety of urban transportation and finally, how to use uh, ICT uh, or information communication technologies to help improve the efficiency of transportation modes. So, these are the broad four modules in which the course contents are designed uh, and uh, uh, if you are yourself are a uh, student or a uh, early uh, career professional, then you may wish to uh, take this course. Uh, these are uh, these courses specifically designed for uh, civil engineering and urban planning students. If you are a civil engineering in the third year uh, of your BTEC or uh, if you are in your uh, MTEC uh, in transportation engineering, uh, you may want to take this course. Uh, yeah, similarly, if you are in an uh, urban planning degree, pursue an urban planning degree and you are uh, in your uh, fourth year or final year of your um, uh, architecture or planning degree, you may want to take this but you should have a focus on transportation planning or interest in transportation planning in order to do so. So, hopefully this, close, uh, this car, uh, course is for you, this class is for you and uh, it will prove beneficial. Uh, I will be taking this course of course and uh, uh, but along with me I will have uh, two of my PhD students who will be helping you uh, along the way uh, to solve any of the uh, doubts uh, that you may have. They will be uh, at, uh, uh, they will be uh, providing uh, good service and uh, will be helpful to you uh, throughout the course. So, all of our contact addresses are given and I hope that uh, you will take this course and I look forward to uh, interacting with you. Thank you.